kind of like tiny little screens. <laughs> Man, that was a really cool beach, but it took ages to get there. So I've cut a wee hole in here, and it's a really puppy. <gasps> are you taping it? Are you recording? Oh yeah. Oh, we got a big one. Whoa. Whoa. This morning we are heading up to Whananake. Um I went and picked up the sister-in-law's groceries from Countdown at 8 o'clock this morning and Marcel got beast out of that um, place we camped. He didn't want to film it because it would have probably really badly graunched the back of the skids on the truck. Um, he made a big gouge on the road getting in along with all the other gouges in there. So yeah, he's gone to empty the grey waste and um, top up our water. Our back water tank is leaking. Um, Marcel fixed a crack in it a while ago and it started leaking again yesterday so we're just losing water out of that back tank steadily just a, a drip <laughs> so there's a bit of a puddle under where Beast was parked so yeah Marcel's gone through and turned the tap off connecting the two tanks so that we only lose the water out of that one and not the front tank so he's going to top that front tank up and hopefully it'll be good for out of the batch and yeah I'm just sitting on the side of a busy state highway one waiting for Marcel and the kids in the truck <laughs> We are so excited to be bringing our house to Whananake. 40 minutes north of Whangarei, this is where I first met Marcel's family on holiday at the beach. Marcel's sister Monique and her husband Justin own a holiday home here and we come here every second year for a good holiday with family. This episode is full of family, fun and beautiful beaches. There is also a very unfortunate incident near the end of this video. I won't go into detail but you'll know it when you see it. I saw you where to go from here I feel like you've lost your way here. Um, Marcel and Justin are removing some tree branches <laughs> to get beast in. So yeah he's got to back in because he wants to be nose out on the way out so that the back wheels don't lose traction because it's an eight wheeler. Good thing Justin's there helping. <laughs> uh, I'll be right. Yeah, you've got heaps of room. The branches are scraping the windows. It's kind of like tiny little screens. <laughs> digging a big hole on that tire. It is but it's sinking, starting to go downhill. Sinking the ramp into the ground I'm in. So now it's basically the level that two was before. <laughs> like you could just drive off the back of that, you wouldn't, but you could. Yeah so we're gonna move because Beast is not level and is sinking quite badly. And if it rains we'll not get stuck but will sink even worse. So, so far, how's the clothesline looking? Yeah, looking all good. 
we might be about to break our ramp. <laughs> Let's find out. Keep coming. Oh yeah, it broke. A little bit more. Yep. Oh, look at that. Just enough room for the deck. Okay, so we're on a slight lean downhill this way, which is okay. Um, the cupboards roll out if we're on too much of a lean, but they're staying in, so... And the rain can come off this side instead. So yeah, it'd be a bit of a different angle to what we're used to, but I think this is the best spot. So it was a little bit of a drama getting based in here, but she's in, and we're reasonably level. And I'm going to go for a walk down to Otamuri, down to the beach. It's only about a five minute walk from here. And um, yeah, it's not the nicest weather, but I'm so looking forward to just chilling at the beach and swimming and hanging out. It's such an awesome holiday home here. And really, really lucky that we can get beast in and hang out. This little guy's technically not supposed to be up here. It's like Kiwi and dock reserve and all that kind of stuff um, down at Otamuri, he's definitely not down allowed at the campground down there it's packed anyway um, but we've bought dog fencing Marcel and his dad cut little holes so that Diesel can't get under the steps and under the truck so they've cut a wee hole in here and it's good hey puppy yeah, can't get out now good boy Marcel's busy pumping up the two paddle boards and I thought I'd come for a wee walk down to the beach to have a quick look. kids and I have walked over to Tofara, which is a beach over the hill from the beach. It's not the nicest day but we're still going to swim and have some fun. Marcel and his sister Monica paddleboarding from Otamuri around to this side so hopefully it's not too windy out there for them. It is so so good to be with our North Island whanau again. The kids are so stoked to be hanging out with their cousins. The next day came out beautiful and sunny, so we headed back to Tofara for some more fun. <laughs> Hello? What are you doing? Today. <laughs> Whose? Mine. Do you want a real stick? Yes. No. Hi <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Hi Sammy. Hi. Yeah. I got them, but there's no more big one. Hey, point those away from us.
So we've come down to Otamudi Beach this morning where it's nice and it's the calmest day it's been since we've been here. Beautiful morning for a swim. So we're gonna have a bath, eh Quinster? Uh, no? Well, that was cold. Oh, that's refreshing, no? No. What do you reckon? No, not no? refreshing. Was it? No, too. Huh. Too cold. Too cold. Huh. Cool, so we are off to a place called the Bougainville Monument or something. It's just on that hill over there. So we came across the longest footbridge in the southern hemisphere to Whananaki South and then the coastal walk track. And I think we're going to swim here today. It's a beautiful spot. Most of the kids stayed behind with their auntie Liz to swim and a group of us carried on to the monument. I have been resisting owning crocs but Jandals aren't easy doing this so... <laughs> I might have to get crocs here. Yeah. Crocs size? 16 people lost their lives in the circuit. Sugarloaf is the little one by itself. On the end, yep. Sugarloaf, High Peaks, and Four Nights. I think this is a bit slippy in genders. So, what just happened? I didn't film. <laughs> you can see my mark with my bum hit the ground. <laughs> oh, all I heard was Crocs slipping. Apparently, Crocs have got good grip, and I should get some. I did end up buying some crocs after all. They are super ugly in my opinion, but very comfortable and good for the rocks and the beach. You're not gonna give me your hat? I'm not gonna put you on my shoulders. <laughs> you ready? Oh, oh Sunny, you've got the life, eh? Hey, boy. <laughs> yeah, you got life. Yeah. Man, that was a really cool beach, but it took ages. To get there. Yeah, and I just, just get back. Now yeah. we're ready for another swim, eh? Yeah, because I'm really puffed. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to hear it. But there's, no, I mean on the GoPro. Can you hear it? Oh, oh. There's a little bird nest. We stopped at the Funanaki store for an ice cream. It was so hot they were selling a heap of ice to all the holiday makers. <laughs> so we're going to go and try and catch some eels with Popper. Yay! I'm recording you, recording me! <laughs> Oh, what about over here? Yeah. We saw a eel. He's on. He's on. Yep. <gasps> Are you taping it? Are you recording? Oh, yeah. Oh, and bring him up. Step back with it. Even bring him up onto the rocks, love. Hang on. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, oh, he grabs the line. Oh. Oh. It comes off. Hey, there he is. There he is. Oh, no, no, stop it. Go to water. Yep. Hang on. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> we came unprepared, didn't we? We should have brought a bucket. <laughs> oh, Whoa, that was a oh big Oh my gosh. That's one nice eel. <sighs> Flick it right up here, buddy. Up, on the, up. Up the dry. Stop, <laughs> yes, we got another. We got another one. We got this another eel. Get the knife, get the knife. Get the knife. Where's the knife? The knife is inside of the fish. Just, no, yeah, just, just yank it out. out. Sorry, I don't like yes. touching fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got two eels. Yeah, 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 we got two e
We might get another one or we might not. So just. I think that covers all the options, baby. Mm. <laughs> Yep. You got him. On the bank. On the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He got it. Isn't it exciting? Quinn. He is in, in their native environment. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect, Papa. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Papa. Keep going. In the wilds of Fonanaki. <laughs> in the wilds of Fonanaki. Eels. Eelus magicus. Not eatius. No, nope. Eelus well, barbecuus. <laughs> to mimic their natural diet, we must feed them delicious, cheesiest sausages. <laughs> Leftover sausages. Okay. Elijah's Humanicus. Is Any words? Nope. No words. There is a delicious piece of sausage hanging on. We're not sure. It's not sausage, it's ham. It's ham, it's ham. Yeah, he knows everything. <laughs> Nothing. Another day, another year lost. Oh, we're escaping! We got one! Oh! oh. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> man, that was so close. <laughs> oh no, I got that! Put it back in! Come on, mate. Go! Yay! I got him! Well, we got another one. Whoa, go for my life. I got a big one, too. Oh, uh, eel fun with Quinn. This one is mine. The longest. This one is Elijah's. What's your other one? I think it was that one. Yeah, no, it, is, it was this one. Yeah. And then um, Sam caught those two. So you tried the eel that you caught. It was smoked, yeah. was it? Papa yep. did it. How was it? It tastes. It had a weird taste for it, but it was actually quite a good one. You liked it? Mm. Good job. Funny, there's a couple of seagulls on the um the roof and Marcel just sprayed them with a hose to try to trace them away. But I think they liked it, one of them was drinking it. So now they've come closer. <laughs> they probably think you're throwing food at them. <laughs> There we go. So we've been at the beach for a swim and it was really fun, like really, really rough and wavy. Just getting taken out by the waves, super fun. And there's a really dark cloud coming over. Looks like it's going to storm. There's a bit of thunder going around. Very cool. So here's the unfortunate incident I was telling you about. Marcel forgot I was filming and I did my best at blurring it out. If you're wondering why there's a second face on the screen, it's because you could totally see his white butt reflecting on the side of Beast. Oh, babe, I'm filming. No one will know what these are, but that's right. And I'm meant to be doing dinner, but Marcel is doing the mince. So, psh, cooking dinner for all the family tonight. Bit of a late night, so decided to cook for everybody who didn't get much sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Diesel, come. Come. <laughs> Good boy. Cool, so after that thunder and lightning yesterday, it's come out to be a beautiful day again. Just been for a 4k walk and Marcel and the kids are down at the beach, so I'm going down to join them.
So Marcel and his sister and a couple of the nephews have gone to the beach to do some jumps off the rocks down there. There's a cool spot that you can swim around to or climb around the rocks to to um, jump off. And I'm taking the younger ones to the store to get an ice cream. Right, kitty winklets. Children's. Should we go to the dairy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. My cool, cool um, toy. you were wondering what on earth these things are that have popped up throughout the video here is a montage of me finally getting off my butt to get fit and an explanation so yeah i am enjoying this getting fit thing so i thought i'd come a different way tonight and stroll down the beach instead don't you just want to get in there <laughs> i've already had two swims today but it's a bit tempting another walk on my own just a couple of kilometers but it's really pretty up here Someone's got their own private house down there with their private beach. So if anyone was wondering what these were for, that would entertain me while I'm walking. They are actually called a bigleri, an ancient Greek skill and fidget toy that the kids and I are making out of paracord to sell. I am a big time fidgeter, so they have kept me well entertained. And Marcel loves it too, he doesn't think I'm a goober at all. He thinks I'm really cool with my fidget toys. Also good for doing squats when you drop it on your walk. Oh, and also I have named them. They're all called Larry, because they're big Larrys. So just Larry for short. Um, Master will love that. <laughs> He's over me naming everything. It's Larry, okay? Look after Larry. I almost threw Larry off this bank before. Okay, so I made it to this point. It's gonna be my last walk up to here this holiday. I think we're leaving sometime in the morning, maybe just before lunch anyway. Such a beautiful spot. Quite jealous of the people in that house down there, in case you didn't notice. I'm just stopping for a break because Larry's puffed, needs a rest. Larry learned a new trick. What? Larry learned a new trick. Uh-huh. Larry. Larry learned. <laughs> Come on, Larry. I almost threw Larry over a bank. He's got a plan. Watch a ranger. Got a miracle. In our next episode, we start heading south again for more adventures. I hope you have enjoyed our fun and knacky video. See you next time. I can see the strength inside you. Child, you're putting up a fight. Oh, you're stronger than you think.